Hey everybody, Attorney Tom here. It's 11.24 p.m. on Friday night. I had a crazy week at the office, so I wasn't able to produce that much content, but I'm excited for it to be the weekend. Over the past few days, I had been getting tagged like crazy in the video we're going to react to today. It is a police interaction analysis video, and I understand this is everybody's cup of tea. So if this is a sensitive subject for you, feel free to click off the video and come back for one of my other videos. My feelings won't be hurt. A little bit of preface about the video before we start. It occurred in April of 2019 in Virginia, I believe, but the film was only recently made public, which is why I think it's circulating now. Okay, let's jump into it. This officer is trying to unlock my car. This officer is unlocking my car. They just illegally entered my car. And I'm being forcefully removed. Take a look at me. I'm being I'm forcefully removed. I'm a fucking removed. specimen right here, buddy. Sir, I'm you in no... My, last my hands are up on camera. All right. I'm in no threat You're going to gonna get officers. your ass whooped in front of fucking hands, Lord and all creation. I'm going to give up. you one more chance. I'm being threatened. You can bring that with you. Okay. So, couple of things. One. It seems like the officers are ordering Mr. Derek Thompson, who's the gentleman filming, out of the car. Remember, if a police officer orders you out of the car, you have to get out of the car, regardless of the reason. But this doesn't necessarily mean they get to search you or search your car, but you have to get out of the car. This is according to the Supreme Court in a case called Pennsylvania v. Mims. This applies to any state. Again, the Supreme Court. Two, if you fail to get out of the car due to the police officer's order, they can use reasonable force to get you out of the car. Obviously, the key word of that is reasonable. In the very beginning of this interaction, the police officer says, quote, he's an effing specimen, and two, I'm going to beat you in front of Lord and all creation to Mr. Thompson, who, even if he's refusing to get out of the car, would not be reasonable because the re could, because the use of force would be to get him out of the car, not to beat him up. And I can understand why Mr. Thompson is not cooperating because presumably this officer, who's already expressed how much of a hothead he is, had said some things before Mr. Thompson started filming. All right, let's just keep going. All that you film threatened. the whole thing. I'm being threatened no, right I'm now. I'm giving you a chance. I am not doing anything. I I'm feel giving unsafe. you a chance. I feel unsafe. And I'm in no threat to these three officers. My hands are up. I am doing nothing wrong to provoke anybody or anything. Making sure this is all recorded. I've just been... Okay, Mr. Thompson is actually doing a very good job of notifying the police officers that he's not a threat. If you've seen my other educational videos, I tell you to announce everything you're doing to the police, meaning you notify them that you have your hands up. If you have to reach into the glove box, you say, officer, I have to reach into the glove box. Or, officer, I'm getting out of the car. Officer, I need to put my hands in my pocket to get my license. You tell them everything you're doing. Mr. Thompson is doing that. He is showing that he is not any threat. Although he is refusing to cooperate to get out of the car, he is showing he is not a threat. Let's keep going. Threatened by you can take a lawful phone, officer. You. I have just been threatened by a law officer as two other officers stand by and say absolutely nothing. Yeah, Willing to participate. My, rear, my passenger door was open. My driver door was open. I have it on camera. He rolled my okay. window down to do so. I'm giving you to the count of three, sir. I'm still I'm this giving is all you... on camera. I am not sure, resisting. I'm making fine. sure it is being known. I am not yeah. resisting. Okay. My hands are up. One okay. hand on this camera. Well, come on, My seatbelt is being arrested. As long as your hands, hands are up, that's fine. I am not resisting. As long as your hands are up. I was unlawfully. Okay, come on Sir, out. please do not touch me, sir. Keep your phone out. Sir, please do not touch me. See, that's where we're coming to a disagreement. It's not about I'm this. giving you to the count of three. I'm being... you don't do oh, this. Sir, don't do it. I'm don't not touching man. this officer. It's don't on camera. It. My hand is by Step my head. Step out of the car right I'm now. I'm being threatened. Now you're I'm under arrest. Threatened. Now I'm you're under arrest for disobeying the law. I was being an officer. I'm I giving you to the count detained. of three. This officer has threatened me, and I'm One, making it known I am no threat to this two, officer. I've been threatened. Watch the show. My post. life is in danger. My life is in danger. How do you like that? How do you like that? Huh? Put your hands back. Put your hands back. Okay. What are my final thoughts here? 
Mr. Thompson should have gotten out of the car. You're required to get out of the car if the police officer asks you to get out of the car. But the police officer had an obligation to use reasonable force. From the very beginning of this interaction, the police officer proved and showed a propensity to use unreasonable, unjustified force. In fact, I would go as far as to say he used deadly force. At the end, you could hear the audio of Mr. Thompson saying he's unable to breathe because the officer is on his neck. That is unreasonable. The force justified in this case would be to get Mr. Thompson out of the car, not to beat him in front of God and all creation. And this, to me, was the most disturbing part. Lawfully to the count detained. of three. This officer has threatened me and I'm One, making it known I am no threat to this two. officer. That. Look at that little smirk in his smile. I've been threatened. Watch the show. Look at that. He's looking right at the My camera. Life is in danger. Like he doesn't care. I understand that was hard to watch for a lot of people. And I understand why there's a lot of debate online about this clip. Because after all, Mr. Thompson was obligated to get out of the car. And his refusal to do so could very well have resulted in his arrest for failing to cooperate with orders from a police officer. I understand why there's a lot of debate online about this clip. After all, Mr. Thompson's arrest probably could have been justified, but for the police officer's outrageous actions. After all, you do have to comply with the cop's order to get out of the car if they ask. But the actions of the police officer in that video went above and beyond what he was justified in doing. He used unreasonable force. In fact, I would go as far as to say he used deadly force. And just from a logistical and psychological standpoint, you can understand why Mr. Thompson felt the way he did. When people get backed into the corner and threatened, they get defensive. So to conclude, Mr. Thompson should have gotten out of the car, but it's understandable to see why he didn't. And I just hope he's okay. I absolutely think this was unjustified and an unreasonable use of force by the police officer. And I hope that an investigation is done. I know it's uncomfortable every time we cover situations like this, but legal education can be a lifesaver sometimes. And if we don't talk about this openly and objectively from a legal perspective, then no progress will be made in my opinion. This is a important conversation that we have to have so everybody can get better. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you leave any comments in the video down below. Thank you so much for your time. I'm Attorney Tom. I'll see you later.